God has started to answer our prayers. Yes, because today's video is going to be a story time. Yes, we have a very beautiful online dating success love story from my own baby. <laughs> Why am I saying my own baby? Because that dating app where she found the one is the app that I shared here on my channel. Whenever I see comments on the comment section, you guys saying, Bella, next is me, the next is me. I always pray to God that let it happen. And we see it has started to happen. <laughs> so friends, before we go to how she found love on online dating apps, or how she found that Belgian guy, it is good for us to know her past love relationship experience how was it like was she in a relationship with a black guy a south african guy and if yes how was it like has she ever dated a white guy or this belgian guy was the first white guy in her life <laughs> but being in a relationship i think yes because i've told you she is a single mother so let's get a bit deep into her past love relationship experience so dear friends yes harriet tells us that she was in a love relationship before with a south african guy that guy was the first man in her life the love of her life everything was super good they were so much in love with each other until she became pregnant when she became pregnant this guy started changing he started abusing her emotionally acting very weird Whenever she could ask questions, this guy could tell her, you are talking too much. We all know if you have ever been in a relationship, communication is very, very important. So when a man is not communicating to you the way he is supposed to do, and when you ask questions, he tells you that you talk too much, that means the guy is hiding something. This is the truth. These guys, when they start cheating on you, when they start doing things which are wrong, when you ask, they tell you, you talk too much. You disturb them. One day I told you, you can be dating a guy and when you ask questions, he's like, I don't want a woman to control me. You are not my mother. But actually guys, it is not that you are controlling him. No, in a relationship, you should communicate very well. If I see something that is not going well, I need to ask you <laughs> and I need answers. Yes, I deserve answers because I am your girlfriend. So this guy started calling Harriet that she is talking too much, abused her emotionally. Harriet couldn't take it anymore, decided to end that relationship. They had to part ways, but this man has remained to be a good father. To their kid so friends after harriet ended that relationship felt like a loser felt like a failure and it is a very very bad feeling i'm telling you if you have been into a toxic relationship whereby a man is abusing you emotionally your self-esteem will be very very low sometimes you don't trust in yourself and maybe things that happened in your relationship you tend to give yourself a fault and tell yourself that it's my fault it ended because it's my fault and these words it is not that they are from deep inside you no they are from the guy that you were dating because he used to tell you those words used to blame you for everything used to tell you that you are nothing so you end the relationship but you still tell yourself that you are nothing so harriet had to sit down screen herself and be like maybe it was my fault that is why that relationship that lasted for eight years ended so she checked herself very very well but in the end she tells us she did not find anything that is her fault yes so here she advises you that when you end a relationship i also remember i told you about this always try to sit down and analyze of what happened was it your fault where did you do the mistake where did you you know ignore the red flags this will help you to start a new healthy relationship so harriet 
came to find out that nothing was wrong with her she wasn't a failure she wasn't nothing she wasn't talking too much <laughs> nothing was wrong everything that she did in that relationship was okay so she was at peace so guys here comes the question that i always ask ladies who share with us their love stories was it your dream to get married to a white man harity's answer is yes it was her dream to get married to a white man she remembers that when she was at that age of dating one time she was at the church and the pastor asked her if you get married do you see yourself getting married to who <laughs> she answered to the white man and the pastor laughed very very much <laughs> so guys yes it was her dream to get married to a white man but i know right now you're confused then how about the first story she was dating a black guy a south african guy yes things happen you can dream to get married to a white man you can dream to get married to a black american guy <laughs> just like me that doesn't mean that when you start dating you date a guy who you were dreaming of no <laughs> you know life is like that so guys after seven months she was ready to start dating opened her heart to love <laughs> and she came across a south african guy but this south african guy was white a white guy and his age he was in his 50s way way older than harriet she tells us that man was very loving very caring he was a man of her dreams <laughs> due to the way the guy was treating harriet and her kid the way to the mother's heart is the kid <laughs> so if this guy is good to you good to your kid you fall in love with him that is how it happened then they started dating everything was very very well everyone was living in their own house they were not staying together but as the relationship became strong and stronger they decided to start living together this south african white guy he was a business guy a very rich guy so started living with harriet everything was very good at least at the beginning then afro cinema started <laughs> so this guy started telling harriet you're not supposed to dress this way you can't put on short skirts you can't put on tight dresses you cannot go to work you're going to stay at home and harriet is the teacher by profession <laughs> she tells us she grew up with a single mother her mother is such a hard-working woman so she can't remember the time her mother stayed at home without working so this guy telling her not to work really did not settle well in her mind but because she was in love and when you fall in love you get blinded <laughs> by love so she had to be like okay i'm going to follow whatever this guy is telling me be a good woman to him so she could stay at home they had maids to do everything so she could just manage them and take care of her kid also this guy used to take a good care of harriet's kid could also give her some money for upkeep so what she could do with the money she could save that money which is very very good so i have a tip for you ladies if you are in such kind of a situation you are supposed to do the same save your money because that money will help you if anything happens because people change guys so things went well for some time and it's because harriet was accepting everything that this guy was telling her to do that is why everything was going well but after some time guys this guy kept on becoming worse and worse because every time he could return back from his businesses harriet could be thinking what am i going to answer because anytime he comes you have to explain he finds something to fight about you know what guys a man who stops you from working a man stops you from doing things that you like to do is not a good man at all because if you're going to be depending on this man all the time you have to ask money from him what if one day he wakes up and is like today i'm not going to give you money 
what are you going to do how are you going to solve your problems <laughs> you know we always have you know those small small problems so money is very very important as a woman you should have your own money even if your husband is giving you money at least start a small business if he tells you no don't start that business you know that that man isn't good for you and doesn't want anything good in your life yes he wants you to be down all the time you know like his own puppet so friends harriet's second relationship became a toxic one again she was there yes physically but mentally wasn't there harriet tells us that in 2016 she was watching this american tv program called 90 fiancy i think most of you know about that tv program so she was watching that tv program and saw couples talking about dating apps and that is when she came to find out about the dating apps but never tried them so when she entered into that relationship with that white south african guy and things started becoming very very bad the situation became worse she remembered about the dating apps went to google and downloaded some dating apps so with this she tells you please don't judge her because at that time that was the right thing to do because she was ready to go out of that relationship so friends she tells us that the first dating app she downloaded was badu <laughs> yeah so started chatting with different men but her relationship you know real life relationship with that white south african guy kept on becoming worse and worse she reached the limit and had to end that relationship but she tells us she thanks god she saved some money while in that relationship because after ending the relationship she used the money that she saved to start a new business so guys she started her business and kept on searching on badu then the second dating app to download was date my age get ready to laugh about this <laughs> So she started chatting with guys on Date My Age until she came across a guy from Italy, an Italian guy. <laughs> For me, I would call this guy my brother-in-law, but what he did, it's a shame. <laughs> So they started chatting with this Italian guy. He was very, very sweet. He had sweet, sweet words that could melt her heart. They exchanged phone numbers, started chatting on WhatsApp. Everything was super good. Harriet saved this guy as my heartbeat. <laughs> guys online dating men can make you do things that you have even never imagined you can do <laughs> so this italian guy was saved as my heartbeat this guy used to call her sing for her at night you know those romantic songs oh my god she was up there in the clouds <laughs> <laughs> so after chatting for a while with this italian guy i think for six months and this guy told her that he was working with a certain company then told her that he wanted to send her some money and told her that the company that i am working with is going to send money to your account like his salary so i think this guy meant his whole salary was going to go to harriet <laughs> so what harriet did she said bella i am smart because i'm a business woman <laughs> and guys when you are on online dating apps you should always be smart so she had a spare bank account had to give that bank account to an italian guy so that they can send money to her account <laughs> and after she sent the account number do you know what happened <laughs> she received a message that you have have deposited i think one point something million rands she was like what <laughs> so she had to look for that company and reach out to them when she called them they told her that we are not working with that person that person is a scammer and that is when harriet's castle collapsed <laughs> 
<laughs> it fell down <laughs> you know the castles that i was telling you in my last video that we always create castles in you know in our heads imagine of things about the guys that we are chatting with on online dating apps but in real sense these guys i think they always take us as stupid women so harriet reached out to this italian guy told him you are a scammer go and scam other people i don't want to ever see you again this guy was like no i am not a scammer explaining himself and after explaining himself he blocked her she was like i was going to block you so you did me a favor <laughs> So guys, after that experience with an Italian guy on date my age, she had to delete that dating app. And another thing I came to find out, <laughs> guys, I might be a pro on online dating apps, but I didn't know about this. On date my age, you can chat with a guy without paying. For me, I thought it is just as same as dating.com, whereby you too need to pay so that you can communicate. <laughs> yes. So she told me the guy was paying but she was not paying on date my age so guys if you have not yet watched the video where i talked of dating.com date my age and other sister company of dating.com they have got lots lots of fake profiles harriet too after experiencing that situation with an italian guy who wanted to scam her she had to go and research about date my age but what she came across people were complaining that exists lots lots of fake profiles on date my age i've been telling you if you're going to use a dating app always research about the dating app get to know how to use it and how about the reviews does this dating app have lots of success stories or it is only scamming stories <laughs> decided to try a new dating site she joined afro introduction so after joining afro introduction started chatting with men she came across a guy from germany it is this guy that wrote her a message and was like you know what i'm not always here i am very very busy but serious i want to find the love of my life so if you don't mind this is my whatsapp let us communicate on whatsapp so harriet took his number and they started talking on whatsapp everything went very well except this guy was super super busy workaholic <laughs> so harriet asked herself a question if this guy can't have time for me now as we are chatting what if we stay together what will happen for me i want a man who will give me attention a man who will give me time a man who will be there for me when i need him but all the time this guy is i am very busy yes they communicate he tells her that maybe i am at office or i am here i am there he could send messages he was so so genuine but the only problem he was too busy i've told you guys no matter you are desperate to find a man no matter you want a white man <laughs> some ladies be like i want a white man to have mixed kids <laughs> So no matter you want a white man to have mixed kids, no matter you have been on online dating apps for so, so long, please, please never take any man just because, let's say, he is a white guy. No, if a guy doesn't have what you want, if you don't see your future husband in that man, don't continue that relationship. Always go for what you want. Always stick to your original plan so with harriet never wanted a guy who is too busy for her a guy who won't give her time she was like no i have to be honest tell this guy that i can't continue the relationship with him because he is too busy so in the end guys she ended that relationship i'm proud of you girl you did the right thing so friends after the german guy harriet was like why is that i am not getting what i want on these dating apps maybe i haven't found the right dating apps she went on youtube and typed dating apps with success stories that is when youtube recommended my channel it was the video where i talked of 15 best 
free international dating apps i remember that video i was wearing a yellow top <laughs> and harriet remembers too that video even the dress that i was wearing in that video because she told me bella i had to write down all those apps that you recommended and everything that you said <laughs> so the first dating app that she downloaded was the dating app where she found the one and i'm going to be telling you the name of that dating app before i end this video so watch the video till the end please i've been seeing your comments bella what is the name of the dating app please watch the whole video so that you get to understand my intention of sharing this love story is for you to learn something not only get the name of the dating app please please so dear friends after harriet downloaded that dating app that she got from my channel she started chatting with different men for a week but she wasn't getting what she wanted was like where am i going wrong and i can understand harriet guys because when you are on online dating apps you want to find that man as soon as possible because <laughs> the experience guys that you go through on online dating apps it is not always good and few people can handle it <laughs> it really needs a strong heart <laughs> So what Harriet did was like, no, I'm so tired. I'm so exhausted. I'm going to delete this dating app. So after a week, she deleted that dating app. But what Harriet continued to do, she continued watching my videos. And then I uploaded a video where I shared with you how to position your online dating profile i talked about attractive clear photos i talked about the words that you put in your bio all that so after watching that video and she tells us that even after deleting the dating app she kept on thinking about dating apps <laughs> because she was like what if i stayed started getting the feeling where you do something and you don't finish it so she could get that feeling of unfinished job <laughs> which are the dating apps so after watching that video of mine about online dating profile came in with new photos of her smiling wrote the right words in her bio and she tells us that day she got 120 messages <laughs> oh my god with lots lots of likes she was like what is this <laughs> she felt very very good because at that moment she had a chance to choose who she wants <laughs> 120 messages oh my god that's a lot before i continue i have a tip to give you if you have not watched that video about your online dating profile how it should be please go and watch that video it's gonna help you very very much but i am insisting guys on this please work on your online dating profile put the right photos guys the photos that you're going to upload on your online dating profile they should be clear that is number one you should have attractive colors colors that when a guy comes across your photo when he is browsing they call him <laughs> <laughs> colors that goes with your skin tone because they're going to make you bright make you so beautiful online dating apps there is competition <laughs> i'm not telling you to go and make photo shoot no you can use just your phone and get very clear clear photos with no distracting background <laughs> by the way guys to add on this you who have been coming on instagram you want that personal help help you on your photos help you on your profile the bio what to write and all that guide you through the journey of an online dating apps guys time is not on my side so you either join my channel membership 
or pay for the fee so that i can help you it's not all that expensive guys i know the situation so i'm not exaggerating like wanting to take advantage of you no let us help each other let me leave it that way so then if you can't manage to join my membership then i advise you to keep on watching these videos because i always share everything in these videos if you follow everything in the videos i'm so so sure you will find the one so guys let's go back to harriet's story after getting 120 messages with lots of likes <laughs> what did she do she responded to a guy from uk they started communicating exchanged phone numbers and then after that a guy asked for a video call she accepted when they started video calling the guy started moving we know them guys they missed a shaking <laughs> so the guy started shaking on the phone and she understood the guy was masturbating so what she did she blocked the guy immediately and then had to choose again from those 120 messages she replied to a guy from greece after chatting with this greek guy but the guy didn't have the vibe that harriet wanted guys harriet is such a positive lady she told me bella i am very very loud but not in a bad way in a happy way in a positive way so this greek guy did not give me that vibe so in the end i had to you know stop communicating with him this this lady is going for what she wants if you don't have what she wants she's not gonna give you her time and i like that so guys after the greek guy got a message this wasn't in those 120 messages it was just a new message from a swedish guy this guy was 57 and when she received this guy's message she was like oh my god this is not the age that i want but let me give it a try i know you're going to be surprised to why harriet doesn't want older guys she tells us that due to her past relationship experience with that white south african guy never wanted again to date a guy who is in his 50s so that is why when she saw this swedish guy she was like ah, it is not the age that i want but let me give it a try and see how it goes so they exchanged phone numbers started chatting everything was going well this guy was super super genuine but as they kept on chatting harriet wasn't feeling him at all was like he is a good guy he is so genuine but i'm not feeling him at all i don't want to date an older guy i don't want and with this guys we should never judge people to choose to date whom they want to date because you don't know someone's past relationship experience someone is choosing to date a white guy you don't know what she has been through maybe dating a black guy so with harriet too she dated an older guy and it went bad it was toxic it affected her that she told herself i'm not going to ever date an older guy a guy in his 50s so guys harriet continued chatting with this 57 swedish guy but in her mind she was like no no matter how i force myself this is not what i want but what harriet decided to do you will all love her for this so while harriet was on that dating app found a friend this friend was a south african lady wrote her a message on online dating apps they became friends used to give each other tips because both were searching for love on online dating apps so when harriet was chatting with this 57 years swedish guy remembered about her friend and she was like i think that will be a very good match to my friend so she talked to this swedish guy told him that you are a good man you don't have anything wrong with you trust me but you are not for me i have a sister maybe i connect you to this sister you are going to be a good match so this swedish guy was like okay are you sure she said yes <laughs> so the guy accepted and harriet talked to the friend 
told her that there is this guy he's good he's genuine if you want i connect you to him i found him online the friend was like yes give him to me <laughs> and yes just like that they connected everything is going very well with a friend actually the guy is going next week to south africa to meet that friend so he was a genuine guy what do we learn from this we should always be good friends you can't tell me you are my friend you see a very good opportunity for me and you don't share it with me <laughs> what kind of friend are you <laughs> second we should always be honest honest with ourselves and honest to others don't waste people's time on online dating apps it hurts if a man wastes your time so why should you waste a man's time why there is no need because you are blocking your blessings girl <laughs> and another thing if you force yourself to this guy that you know exactly he is not for you then get married you are going to live miserably <laughs> yes don't think of now think of the future look beyond what will happen in real life if you start living with this guy that you don't want you don't see any connection so better be honest so that you can find the right guy that your relationship will last forever you will live happily so friends when you do good things god blesses you harriet tells us it was one evening when she came back from work decided to log in on her online dating profile to see who liked her who sent her messages and then came across this guy who liked her profile but this guy at the same time used to view her profile every day like every day the guy could view her profile but never sent any message <laughs> so what she did she went to the guy's profile and looked that the guy was so cute you know she got attracted to the guy <laughs> and decided to write that first message to the guy she tells us her first message wasn't a novel or oh, an essay no it wasn't she just said hi how are you and after two hours this guy responded <laughs> he was like hello i'm so happy you wrote to me i never thought that you could write to me i was just admiring her in a long distance because <laughs> he was like because of my age i thought you are not going to be interested in me so harriet told him no i am interested so they started chatting and after chatting for a while they decided to exchange phone numbers started chatting on whatsapp so when they started chatting on whatsapp this guy was asking personal questions something that made harriet very very happy because she says the guy was asking personal personal questions <laughs> and if a guy is really interested of course he's gonna ask you personal questions so they kept on chatting on whatsapp and then this guy asked for a photo <laughs> so what harriet did did not go on her gallery and choose a beautiful photo of her with a nice hairstyle no she took a photo immediately there and sent it the reason why she did that says you know us ladies we tend to change hairstyles and whenever you change a hairstyle even your face how you look changes so she was like i'm not going to go on my gallery choose a beautiful photo send it to this guy and the guy says let's video talk and then when i appear on camera the guy runs <laughs> <laughs> oh i scare him no i just want him to see me for real who i am now with a tired face if he calls he finds the same person <laughs> yeah so i think we have a tip here when you're chatting with a guy and then he asks you for your photos don't go on your gallery to choose your best best photo and send it to him no <laughs> take a photo of yourself at that moment and send it to him but to add on that a tip if you know your hair is like you know you are disorganized please organize yourself i'm not telling you to apply makeups on your face or what no just look presentable <laughs> at the end of the day it's you but don't just look shabby on camera just because you want to look natural or you want to look real no <laughs>
<laughs> remember we have to take care of ourselves we have to show men that we take care of ourselves yeah so that's just a tip so harriet did that and the guy was so happy told him that oh my god you are very very beautiful harriet asked the same send me your photo and the guy did the same took a photo of himself at that moment sent it to harriet and she tells us they did not chat the whole night or till midnight no she was feeling very tired because it was during the week and the next day she was supposed to go to work so told the guy that i feel tired let's continue chatting tomorrow if you don't mind the guy was like it's okay so they agreed that the next day they're going to make a video call and yes the next day this guy from belgium his name is jeff <laughs> wrote to harriet he started talking harriet told him remember we agreed you're going to talk today on camera if you are ready i am ready jeff told her that right now i am at work but i'll call you after 15 minutes <laughs> and something very very funny 15 minutes did not end jeff told her i couldn't wait <laughs> to see you within like you know after five minutes he called again and was like oh i couldn't wait so let's talk they started talking they were so happy to see each other on a video call she tells us in their call there were no awkward moment or someone keeping quiet because you don't know what to say no they vibed something that harriet was looking for in the man if you remember the guy from greece they did not vibe the guy wasn't giving her the vibe that she wanted but with this guy from belgium jeff they vibed <laughs> and that is what we call chemistry after keeping on communicating for some days, Harriet asked Jeff, can you delete your online dating profile so that you can concentrate on me? We concentrate on each other. Jeff said, yes, of course, no problem. So they both deleted their online dating apps and concentrated on each other. And guys, I have a tip here. You exchange WhatsApp numbers with a guy, you chat for a month, this guy tells you sweet, sweet words, you make projects, I will marry you, I'm going to invite you, but when you log in on online dating apps to see if he is there, you will always find him there. My dear sister, don't keep on wasting your time because this guy isn't sure yet of what he wants. So guys, they could make video calls every day, share their daily activities. Jeff was so, so open to Harriet and Harriet too was open with Jeff. And that's how you start a healthy relationship. So after chatting for a week and a half, Jeff told Harriet, I feel very comfortable around you. I told you men from Belgium, if they feel comfortable about you, they start opening up more and more. After Jeff felt comfortable, he told Harriet that I want to introduce you to my son. It is time for you to know him and my mother because Jeff's son lives with Jeff's mother. So when Jeff went to visit the mother, introduced his son to Harriet and the mother. They were very happy to see Harriet and Harriet too was so happy. So what Harriet did also introduced Jeff to the son. I told you guys, you should always go with the flow. If he introduces you to the son or if he introduces you to the parents, then introduce him to to your parents so guys everything continued very well after the introduction their relationship growing strong and stronger then they started talking of how to meet so as they talked of how to meet jeff told harriet i want you to come to belgium to visit me see my life but harriet is one of those ladies that are scared to go out of their country meet a stranger <laughs> He is the boyfriend, yes, she trusts him, everything is good, 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 but she's like, no, I want him to come first. So, told Jeff, I want you to be the one to come to South Africa first, and then I'll come to your country. But they have planned already, Jeff is going in December to meet Harriet for the first time, and then start the preparation for Harriet to go to Belgium and get married there. 
friends that is harriet's love story let us wish harriet and jeff lots of luck congratulations girl i wish you luck in your preparations to get married now to the big question that you always want to know when i start the video <laughs> the kind of the dating app where they met they met on f dating guys this is the third success story here on my channel of couples who met on f dating and by watching my videos <laughs> thank you god that is all i can say so to ladies who want to try f dating out don't go and search it on play store no <laughs> search it on google after searching it then join with your email address so guys i know right now you're like but she did not talk about the goodies <laughs> guys jeff never asked for nude photos nor online sex but as they they are keeping on building their relationship we know they are in a long distance relationship yes sometimes they sex talk no online sex romantic words words that keeps the relationship alive so with this she gives you an advice that please be creative <laughs> <laughs> don't be like every morning good morning my love what are you doing today what are your activities no sometimes be like wakey wakey <laughs> oh i am at the door where is my love good morning something like that you know those creative words <laughs> <laughs> yeah they make a difference guys because every day good morning my love what are you doing today it becomes boring <laughs> her advice number two be patient and don't take nonsense if a guy brings nonsense on online dating apps block him move forward number three have your own tricks know a guy step by step you can't know a guy in a day <laughs> i think i told you about this yes so there are some things you can't tell a guy when you start communicating no you have to let the guy get into you when you know he is into me then start asking those questions and he's gonna answer you with clarity but when you ask these questions when you start communicating they get cold feet and move backward yeah that's when they run she also says that when you start asking a guy lots of questions on the first time when you start talking he feels like you are interrogating him so take step by step <laughs> advice number four don't ask for money from men on online dating apps i've talked about this i repeat do not ask men money if a guy is going to give you money he will give you without being asked advice number five and six pray to god put everything in the hands of god he will help you through the whole journey you will find the one because god is able number, number six, six never give up and your sister is repeating to never give up if you're hearing these kind of stories one day it will be your story so keep believing in god that it is possible to find someone on online dating apps so beautiful friends you know if i decide to talk i will talk the whole day tips 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 <laughs> but for today's story let us end here thank you so much for watching this story till now god bless you if you've liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this story and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good you will learn a lot don't forget to subscribe if if you have not subscribed until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.